I hope you're enjoying my dad's videos. Make sure to share this video with your family and friends, like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you get notified for all my dad's new videos. My social media will be tagged down below so you can follow it. And just remember, Jesus loves you. Hi guys, um, just one little factor here um, before we start this video here today. Um, if for any reason my YouTube get, channel gets taken down, which could happen because we're, we're challenging the deep state and we're challenging the powers behind the scenes. But if it does get taken down, I'm going to share the link below here. We have a website, drcharlieward.co.uk and um, you can subscribe on there to our updates and our newsletters, etc. Um, that are being produced by Lee Hemmington. Um, and, but you'll be able to keep in touch with what's going on. So at the moment, everything is uh, nice, and, nice and smooth. But uh, for, if for any reason we get uh, taken down, you simply go to my website, drcharlieward.co.uk and register there and you'll get all the information as to where we are or where you can view our, our videos. Yep. Well, God bless you for everything that you're doing. And that's fantastic. Seeing those numbers jump like that, that's, that's just amazing. That's yeah. amazing. It's a blessing. Yep. The world's ready for the truth now. They're really, like the bullshit meter's going off with the average Joe that would just throw stuff away normally because of all this other stuff that they're doing. It's making people really look great now. And that's a very positive thing for us. I, I'm, I'm finding exactly that because we've been living in a world of complete and utter bullshit from mainstream media and politicians. But when you actually tell the truth, everybody wants to listen because it makes sense. And the bullshit doesn't make sense. No. And it takes too long to explain. That's why I say to people, you know, when truth is present, very few words are required. So when you're hearing, like, especially when people are trying to learn legal and lawful, like you look at the legal world and you look at all the bullshit that they learn, they don't learn anything about law. They just learn about process and, and all their, their different things. It's, it's ridiculous. And when you really understand law, it is so simple. It's common. Like it's sure. common sense, really. And that's what people need to see. And it's just because we haven't been acting like a man or a woman in our public courthouses, you know, for a very long time now, but that's all about the change. One of the biggest bombshells that I've dropped that uh, has, uh, has affected a, a complete community. You have to under, I'm 60 years old, Christopher. So when people talk about blockchain, I think about a chain on the toilet with a block on the end when I was a kid growing up. That's, that's the only blockchain I know. But I was told that the new quantum financial system would be operating on a blockchain system. So that meant nothing to me. And then they said, we're going to be using the XRP system. And I was like, that meant, at, I'd heard of BTC, I'd never heard of XRP. Right. So when I made this public, wow, the cryptocurrency world went absolutely wild. And I was saying, I don't even know what I've said. I don't even know what I've said. Um, but I've obviously said something, and this is not the first time where I've said something without knowing the impact it would have on the rest of my life. Going back 30 years ago, we were selling timeshare apartments in Spain and I had an Orthodox Jew who was in charge of all the burial of all the Jews in England. And he was the number two ranked Jew in the UK. And he was, I was showing him around these beautiful apartments and I was working for boys that were uh, from the East End of London. So they have a certain terminology. And if something is legitimate and it's, it's, it's good, then they, re, they refer to it as kosher. And the, the Orthodox Jew said to me, are these apartments kosher? I said, of course they're kosher, they're all kosher, thinking it meant they were legitimate. And then for the next year, every week, two more Jews would come and fly out and stay and just buy and buy and buy and buy and buy. And then he said, what on earth have you told them? I said, you told me, and it came out literally over dinner one day. I said, you told me they were kosher. He said, oh, he said, no, you didn't tell them that, did you? <laughs> I said, well, you told me everything here was kosher. He said, do you know what kosher means? I've got not a clue. Not a clue. And then he said, well, God. So he went to the developer. He said, right, we've got to now make all these apartments kosher. Kosher, oh, sure. yeah. Exactly. I just thought they meant they were legitimate. So when the guys told me about XRP, I had no idea, Christopher, what it meant, but the cryptocurrency world 
have gone absolutely mental because they've been waiting to find out how this quantum system is going to work. And because I have inside information, I've just been told it's going to be up the uh, quantum financial system will operate on the, on the blockchain system, which I have no idea what that means. And they're going to use the XRP operating system. So I was like, means nothing to me. So when I put it out there, it was like dropping a little spanner into an engine. It just went every which way. Mm. And they wow. were coming back to me asking for, asking for you know, more, more in intel. And I said, that's all I know. All I know is I've been told they're going to be using the XRP system, which is the blockchain system. And so I've, I've had to become educated very, very quickly mm. on something I knew nothing about, which has been a fascinating journey. Mm. And what is this XRP system? I'm, I'm being, I don't know anything I, about it myself. I don't know. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, I'm trying to watch as much as I can right now, but it's still, it's a foreign language to me, Crystal. Completely me foreign language. Me too. Um, and I need to spend more time talking to people who know, because what, they keep coming out with all this terminology, and all these young men nowadays have different terminology than we did when we were younger. Yeah. Um, you know, even the simple things. When I grew up, the word wicked meant bad. Yeah. Now it means now good. good. I know. So everything's back to front. So you know, I'm having to relearn so much. Yeah. That's no, we're living in a wonderful time. And I've, the one thing that's become very, very clear to me over this period is that, especially with Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. Donald Trump is not going to invade your country and force re regime change like the previous administrations used to do. But what he's going to do is expose what's bad in your countries and let them expose themselves. And people were saying to me, well, why, why, is he, why, why is he letting these people do these things? And I said, it was so simple. If he, if he didn't let them expose themselves, you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe how evil the, run, the people that are running your countries really are. And you voted these people in, and these people are the wrong people. And you need, uh, the people need to wake up to the fact that the people they voted in, in good faith, have not, done, not been looking after their interests, have done exactly the opposite. But what, through this very difficult time, people will wake up to the fact as to what is true and what is not. So that when you get the opportunity to vote again, you won't make the same mistakes. And you'll be asking very different questions, and you won't just be throwing your vote at somebody just because they look pretty. Because I'll be honest with you. I'll be very honest with you. I liked Obama as a person to look at at the start, and his, the way he talked. But the guy turned out to be an absolute Roman. And I was a completely the opposite view with Trump, where I didn't particularly like him when he came into power. And yet he's proved to be an absolute right one. Yeah, I don't get too much into the political side. I just, uh, I keep on my train with the, uh, like I said, with this enormous truth that's being brought forth to the world because it, it bottom line, and it's not about me, like I say, it's not an I love me thing. It's an actual fact. I'm, this light that I'm putting on everybody, you know, it came from 20 years of enormous uh, work at my end. It, it research and hardships and destroyed my family and through the, you know, through the years or whatever. And there's been a lot of people around me that have died, you know, surrounding these truths or whatever, and uh, that are fighting and trying to bring this, you know, out through the system. And that's why, you know, this trespass that occurs against all of us when we're born is so huge. It's so huge because it happens to every man and woman and you keep it to that. It's always those three words, Charlie, that I'm, I'm helping people understand the simplicity of all of this. That's been my biggest challenge with the last 20 years of this work that I did. Once I realized what I had here, my first reaction was, as I said, originally it was to right a wrong that happened to my mother and father because of them helping me out my family with this initiative I was looking to launch globally. And then when that wrong and harm all happened with me and I got the curtain pulled back, so to speak, in my life in 2003 and saw the Federal Reserve. I knew nothing about financing back then. And, and then I couldn't believe what I found out. So then it led to, you know, this journey here today where this truth that I uncovered along the way is actually the solution moving forward for all of us. Not only, as I say to people, if there's, 
it's very simple to explain, like I say, when the truth is present. So what I say to people first and foremost, we have one major thing in front of us right now that we have to address. And that is what? It's the COVID lie. Forget common law, forget everything else. We've got a colossal lie that's out there right now around COVID-19. Now, so how we take that down? Well, we have the evidence for that. Okay. I've done an incredible explosive interview with Judy Mikovich that's going to launch in several weeks from now and a coordinated effort with a bunch of other um, high profile people like Anna Von Wright's, uh, David Strait out of the United States. There's going to be uh, Rob S out of Scotland, the people that are on the forefront of common law. And I've coordinated all these people. I've pulled them all together because my train left for me. I was originally going to just do this in Canada. This is what I've been working on. And I launched a common law site, but then in October, in October, November of last year, I realized when this rumor started coming around about this possible virus and whatever it's going on, I went, "Uh Oh, here we go. And then I knew it was actually coming down the pipe. So it's been an incredible journey to get to hear Jesse Casanova, who I think you had on prior. Uh, Jesse, I reached out to because I saw him do a video on common law. This is about three months ago, I guess now. My website had been up for probably about four months, five months before. And so I reached out to Jesse and it was really because I loved his uh, videography, his editing, his cutting, how he was doing it. It was really from a creative standpoint to see if he could come and help me put some really high profile, professionally looking videos together, but really short ones to bring this truth as my website uh, represents www.awarriorcalls.com. I got to tell you one little quick side thing and a laugh here. Uh, one of the people listening in one of my shows the other night, they thought I was, I was speaking on Crow 777, great guy too as well in the United States. And they thought that I said a lawyer calls. <laughs> a warrior. A yeah, it's a warrior, but they thought I said a lawyer. And it was funny I... when I saw it in the comment sections. So anyways, uh, I met Jesse. Uh, just, you know, through Skype or whatever, we started talking and I let Jesse know right up front. I said, you know, you've done an incredible job here, but there's just, you know, it was hard for me to say, but I realized I can't, you know, fart around. I'll, I'll be polite on the show here. You, you don't know, need to be. Around. Yeah, I can't piss around. Yeah, we can't piss around then, you know, because the time is short. What's going on here? I said, uh, I reached out to you for this reason. This is what this truth that I bring forward. And I actually knew nothing about Jesse, nothing. Then I find out like, a month and a half ago that he's had this huge write up in South Africa. That he's the next Elon Musk or whatever from two years ago. And he's this brilliant programmer that understands all these things like BitChain, blockchain. So I was like, wow, this was incredible. I just found this out, like I said, a month ago, a little over a month. And I was floored when I saw that, but I was drawn to Jesse for a reason. That's how my journey has been for the last 20 years. We won't get into all that, maybe another show, but there's been certain things that have happened always along the way. And this is just another reminder where what's happened with me is I started to recognize when these experiences happen, when this, th this action comes into my life, no matter where it comes from. Cause I was saying before Charlie, you know, when this stuff was going on, I said, you know, you know, talking to the big guy upstairs, the Lord saying, listen, send me your angels. Well, what he was sending me is a lot of people that had problems in the court systems or criminal charges or tra traffic charges or whatever, right? Uh, income tax charges, all these different things. So I started helping people. And through that, I started to learn. This is where I got to this level I was at now through this process of, you know, I've been locked away as a hermit for 20 years to get this knowledge. And uh, again, it's not an I love me thing. I want people to, I don't care what they think of me, but you look at what I'm bringing forward here because it is so powerful. It is the solution for us to bring this lie out into the, into the light surrounding COVID-19 with Judy Mikovich. But then you say, okay, Chris, you take care of that. But then how are you going to force? How are you going to do anything? Because she's being shut down. She's not being allowed on the airways, right? How are you going to bring this truth forward? Well, that's very simple. I'm going to show my fellow man what happened to them when they were born, Charlie. And I'm going to show them simply what happened to them. And when they understand this in their heart, their mind and soul, it's game over for this corruption that's out here. See, I can speak to someone real simply in 10 seconds, explain this is what's going on. And this is what happens. There's a trespass that occurs against every man and woman when we're born. Okay, when you're lying as a baby in a crib, they create paperwork. And in that moment, I always say to people, you know, you have to understand one powerful word, which is jurisdiction. That means control. And we all come into this world, Charlie, with no paper attached to us. Remember that. All right. So you fast forward right to now where you and I are being here in front of each other. There's no paper that attaches to you and I, unless Charlie's entered into a contract with another man or woman knowingly, or that's operating a corporation. Other than that, you and I are not bound by any words put on a piece of paper. All right. and that's something you need to always remember whenever anyone's putting some piece of paper in front of you. I don't care if your name's written in upper and lowercase, all, all lowercase and hieroglyphics, jello, smeared in mud. It doesn't matter. Did you have anything to do with the creation of that document? That's no, well, there better be a man or woman behind it that's stating that they got a claim that you've caused wrong or harm to them. And if there's no claim behind it, right? And there's no man or woman coming forward with a verified, not a certified, a verified claim, not a complaint that you've trespassed against them. There's no court right? And that's how quickly you learn to tear their systems down. So I started to learn to apply this. You know, when I got my nose bloody lots of times, sure, they laugh at you in court, but then you start to realize who the master is and who the slave is, 
right? Who are the public servants? See, yeah. people need to understand, number one, our public courthouses are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That man or woman that's wearing the robe in there, they are your public servant. Yeah. There are some powerful nuggets of truth I'm going to give you here. Every man and woman, the second that they act in any capacity, Charlie, any capacity, if you're acting as a fireman, a policeman, a nurse, a doctor, a, a hockey player, whatever, what do you have and what don't you have? You have duties and obligations when you're operating in that corporate structure, right? You've got that hat on. This is what your job description says. You have no rights yeah. when you're acting in that capacity. Remember that. Yeah. But when, only when you step out of that capacity and you switch the hat quickly, and now I'm back to being um, the man or the woman, right? That's when you have rights. And people say, yeah. well, why is that important? Because in law, rights trump duties and obligations every single time. Right. That's why every man and woman at these public courthouses, they have what? Duties and obligations. So yeah. who's this man or woman at this courthouse that can deny I, when I say the word I, I'm referring to people, can deny I access to this public courthouse? Yeah. Nobody. They're going to say that to you right at the counter. That's right. And who is the man or woman that can administrate property mm -hmm. without right? I just gave you the keys of the kingdom right there in two sentences. Yeah. Any com any, it doesn't matter if it's Boris Johnson or Justin Trudeau here in Canada. When we bring these people into court, they're going to simply be asked two questions. When I say the word I, I'm referring to all the people in our landmass known as Canada. I don't speak for the people of Canada, but the truth does. Yeah. So I'll simply say to them once they're under oath or affirmation, being filmed live, being streamlined to the world, am I, meaning all the people, property of the man Justin Trudeau or any agent or officer under his control, working for this service corporation? Remember, that's a key word. Yeah. We don't have governments. Start throwing that word out. They're not governments. They're service, service corporations. corporations. No different than McDonald's and Burger King. And when you get these simple foundation hard resets in your consciousness, Charlie, and everyone out there, my God, you should see how the light comes on of people and then they start to see what's going on. Then they understand why they don't own anything because we've used all the ID that this service corporation created for us, the all caps name corporation. We've used that and put it on title for lands, home, cars, boats. Yeah. So, you know, this was this journey that I went on and when I came across, I know I bounce around a lot, but when I met, you know, Jesse, I have to explain to him that in his 17 minute uh, show that he did, he was unfortunately wrong, faults in a lot of things he was stating because he was mixing up law and legal. Here's another yeah. great nugget for your listeners at home. The difference between legal and lawful, the first thing everyone needs to understand simply, legal does not apply to a man or woman. Remember that. That is fact, not an opinion, fact. Yeah. And yeah. we're not here because of what Christopher or Charlie believe. Let's make that perfectly clear as well. Yeah. I'm here. I haven't gone through what I've gone through for 20 years, Charlie, to come forward and have pleasant chit chats with people. This is pleasant being with you. But everything that's coming out of my yap is truth. Remember this, okay? I'm not here talking about what color drapes I would like to see on my house or a certain couch. This is dead serious because your consciousness depends on the, this world's future right now and waking up. So I'm here to help everybody simply understand. We talked about the first punch with the Judy Mikovich. Well, we've got the evidence for that, but we need the vehicle to get this evidence where? Into that public courthouse. And that's when I explain to people the power. That's why it's called a public courthouse. It's not a private courthouse for the bar. It's a public which means we, the people, we created it. We have the right to access to it. Right. Now, what we have going on right now in our world, Charlie, is we have a duty as people to gather, not to protest, right? Not to gather to do destruction. We're gathering peacefully because this truth, this simple light is going to be brought out into the, into the light, so to speak, in front of our country and the world and multiple other countries at the same time. That's what we're working towards. And this truth is so powerful when you attack the trespass that occurs when we're born for people that didn't know, like I said, when truth is present, very few words are required. So this is the trespass. When you're born as a baby moments in bed, your mother and father are filling out paperwork in the hospital. They just simply think that they're putting their lovely newborn property, not their child. Remember, that's a powerful word. You usually use property. Never refer to your children as children. Why in their courts? Because they can get control and jurisdiction over children. They can't what? Administrate another man or woman's property. Okay, that's a powerful word. So if people are dealing with CPS right now, child protection services, you need to understand that word property. And you need to start hammering that home to these people that are trespassing in your home saying, you have no right to administrate my property. If you believe you do, provide me your verified facts, you know, with findings of facts, conclusions of law, or just show me where it says you, Betty or Susie, who work member, everybody's working for a service corporation. So when you get it, look at every single man and woman that you're interacting with the system as if they just came from Burger King and McDonald's. And once you get that in your head, then you understand how to talk to them. Then you understand the jurisdiction who has control. If you're standing there in the capacity of a man and they're acting in some role, remember what we talked about? As soon as you act, you diminish your capacity. You have no rights. So if you're standing there as the man, you're standing there as the creator, not the created. And people say, what? 
Did he just say you're standing there as the creator, not the created? What does he mean by that? Well, let's go back to that trespass again. When you're born, there's documentation that's what? Being created. And from that hospital, there's the foundational record that they take from. They create the birth certificate. And the birth certificate is nothing more. Remember, if you went and created a birth certificate and sent it to me, Charlie, would that have any force or effect to me or bind me to anything? No, right? It would just simply come to me and I'd say, oh, fuck. look at this Charlie Spain guy. What a wonderful man. He sent me a nice thing and I would put it in my drawer, no offense, but it would mean sweet diddly, you know what to me the rest of my life. And yet, the same thing has happened by people working for a service corporation. After we're born, they send this birth certificate to our house. And all, all of us have been led to believe that this documentation applies to we, the people, in the capacity of a man or a woman. It doesn't. It applies what this service corporation has done, be it a provincial level, federal, whatever you are in your country. What they've ultimately done, Charlie, is they've created a corporation in your name, and it's a franchise which they claim ownership of. Yeah. That's how simple it is. Remember, the birth certificate, even the hospital record, as people will see on my site, those documents don't mean a damn thing. The hospital record does only in the sense what? That your mother and father signed that their signatures are on it, that they gave you a name, and it was witnessed by doctors in that. But this birth certificate, that has nothing to do with you. Now go and look at your bank account, your bank accounts in all capital letters. Go and look at your credit cards, your driver's license. Every time you see your name, it's going to be in all capital letters, but it's in a different configuration. The service corporation has gone ahead and made all these corporations in your name without yep. your consent, without your knowing. And yep. they've created, in a sense, called a legal person. Remember, we're not born a legal person, nor will you see in the Bible the word legal, right? And actually, you see in Job 32, 20, I believe it is, it says, let no man place what? Persons upon you yeah see because that's what happens at birth they're killing every man and woman when they come into this world their consciousness right from the get-go this evil's been around for a long time it couldn't wait and it has to kill you on paper and create a person a legal person which they show you that hey this is who you are and then you go through the rest of your life believing that legal applies to a man or a woman and it doesn't legal applies to incorporate it and now you understand what that means legal is incorporated lawful is unincorporated a man or a woman or people so when you say that to people now in this short conversation we've had, they understand legal incorporated. Uh-oh, that's the trespass that happened when I was born. That's like, it's like McDonald's going and creating that all caps name and, and stuff. And then you've taken it and you've put it on title on all your property. You use it for your bank account. This is how the service corporation's government can come into what you think is your bank account and take your money out, close it down, harass your whatever, because it's ding, 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 not your account, people. You didn't put the correct title oh. on there. And that's the upper and lowercase name. So why this is so important is when the people learn this truth, this is worldwide, this has happened. When everybody sees what's happened at birth, they're going to be angry and mad because this is what it means to all of you. It means every single dollar you've ever paid into taxation is going to come back to you. It means every wrong and harm that's occurred from wars and stuff that these central bankers, which boils down to the queen, the pope, and uh, uh, the monarch that are responsible for all this paper. Remember, it's a crown corporation that started this. All roads yeah. lead to Rome. That's where it all began, Charlie, and I've been rambling here, but it's, it's very powerful this moment in time we've got coming up because when the people realize now this trespass that's happened in birth, they're going to say, we want remedy. How, how do we get this sorted down our public courthouse? Well, now we've already got it ready to go. You've got the Judy Mikovits truth. You've got the power of the trespass that's happened against all of us, which is greater than any COVID lie or anything else they can throw at us right now. And yeah. if we can get the single truth out into the hearts and the minds of the people and they can follow this truth and understand what's happening when we surround those public courthouses charlie this is going to be a biblical this is going to be huge because we're actually freeing the consciousness of mankind for the first time in thousands of years people don't know this system that they've been born into this planet is one big crime scene okay it's a big casino rig casino that you're born into and the second that you're born into it the people that created all the system are right at you with paperwork that's being created and that compromises everyone's consciousness for the rest of their lives. But the beauty is now this truth is finally coming forward. Because see, it resets everything. It exposes now the bar. All their court proceedings, every single court proceeding that they've done has all been based on constructive fraud. Because what they're bringing into that courtroom, when they say represent, it's not represent. That's not the word, Charlie. You got you to say it correctly. It's, sorry, it's not represent. Well, it's, not re represent. it's represent. And so you say, so see, this is how quickly the truth works. So people say, well, what are they representing you as, Chris? Well, ding, ding, ding. Go back to the trespass. They're representing you as that birth certificate. Look at the filing. Look at the writing. That's when you see your name in all capital letters. That's what they're bringing into court. And they're trying to sucker you into believing, which they've done for a very long time. As a maximum law states, let those deceived be deceived. 
right? That could be the bar's mantra. And that's what they're doing to your fellow man. So what I've just laid at your feet here, Charlie, is one of the greatest truths that's been hidden from mankind right across this world. This is going to restore our courts. It's going to reset all these service corporations to correctly correct the records of all this fraud. That's because it's constructive fraud when you realize you've been tricked and you've placed an incorrect idea and title of property that you've been paying for all this time and you thought it was yours. See, this is huge when you understand the major ramifications of it. You know, property is a very big thing. And then don't stop to think of all the people that have been put in jail, locked up under these codes and that, that were never, ever supposed to be, unless they've caused wrong or harm to a man or woman. A lot of these people never should be behind bars. They've right. destroyed families with CPS. And this is the remedy that we're seeing for it. People need to realize the bar is not your friend. Lawyers do not ever represent a man or woman. They can only represent you as that legal fiction. Ask them, show me anywhere in your precious law books where the word man appears. Mm -hmm. Yeah. doesn't appear anywhere. Only I've the word some, male. I've got some good news for you. Good. Right at the start of this journey, I was introduced to something I'd never heard of before called Nasara and Jasara. And this is Donald Trump's plan. And part of that plan is to return us to common law and constitutional law, away from maritime law, which is the law that you've been discussing. That's part of his plan. Well, I'll tell you my take on that. Like I said, I don't get, only because you brought up the law side of it, Charlie. Yep. Okay. You know, William Barr, who's his attorney general. Yes. Okay. Well, this man has relinquished habeas corpus, which yep. means they, people don't realize they can arrest anybody now without charge and hold them indefinitely without even bringing them into a court. This got done about two or three months ago and people have no idea about it. This is the same guy now whose entire justice system was fighting judicial watch that had Hillary Clinton over the rails now finally. She was going to have to testify under oath. And Barr's whole AG office got behind it and pushed it. And now they just pushed it to appeal and they squashed it. So they stopped Hillary Clinton come forward. Now this is Donald Trump's supposedly attorney general. You really what I was told that? about that was that um, she's already been dealt with. This was just purely for show, and it's been a smoke screen and a red flag. That's what I was told. Well, like I say, as I say to people at home, the best, the only thing that I can do, I can't, I can't go after a pope or a queen, or I can't take on the central bankers. But what I can do is I've got that public courthouse that's right next to me. And yeah. I know that there's, there's millions of people of my fellow men and women, just like in your country, Charlie, that know the truth. Yeah. And they will reach out and they will gather. See, it's a duty of ours to gather around that courthouse and correct our creation, which is supposed to be government. If it's something's really gone off the rails, this is a duty all of us have as men and women, period. There's no other. 100%. I agree with you on yep. that. We need to yep. stand There's up against these evil people. Yep. The biggest yep. problem is, Christopher, you've got Christians saying, well, I'm praying. Well, God's saying, get off your knees and do something. Yeah. And if, you, if you're a Muslim, you, you'd be praying to Allah, you need to get off your knees and do something. It doesn't matter what religion you are. Exactly. Uh, you need to get off. It's one thing to pray. That's a very important to pray. But another thing is to actually do something. That's right. That's right. And that's why I think the world's finally ready for it. As you've probably seen in the UK there and around the world, the police have been put under attack through this Black Lives Matter theater that's going on. But you see them excuse me, starting within their systems and their corporate government systems, what are they doing? They're preaching and putting forth to defund the police, yeah. right? Because they're causing all this wrong and harm. So that is where the system has overplayed their hand, Charlie, because now in Canada, the police here who already started to learn about this, like, you know, 10 years ago, if you started to talk to them or, or explain to them this trespass occurs at birth and you're showing them the documentation, they just think you're a nut job. They, lab they label everyone a sovereign citizen yeah. or a freeman you know, and they just ignore you. But now the worm is starting to turn because there's many people that have stayed the course with it. And now they realize, oh my God, this has got, this has got everything to do with all of us here because this trespass is now they simply see. So that's when it's going to get exciting. And that's the goal of all this is that when we're at that public courthouse, we're not standing there alone. We are standing there and representing a true collective of the people. And that's all walks of life that are there. And we're there simply to bring this truth of the trespass in, bring in Judy Mikovich's truth, shut down all this COVID stuff, and then get the warrants going. And our courthouses, like I said, at the top of the show are operating 24 seven. People don't realize that you can go to yeah. that courthouse at 11 o'clock at night and get your paperwork and everything filed. They don't like you to do that, but there's a magistrate that's always on call because that's supposed to be there for we, the people remember that and it's powerful. So, you know, it's, it's been incredible talking with you here or me rambling too. It's, I'm so blessed to be able to get this off. It's like therapy for me, Charlie. You know, you can imagine you're locked up for 20 years and then finally you can bring this truth out into the open and you see me when I go, I'm like, boom, you know, I just shoot. I love it. And I love talk, it. But 
but it's, uh, it's, it's the best way to get the solution home to people. People don't have a lot of time. You know, it's not about me to meet me, but I want to try and give a bit of, you always go down to the foundation. Ever, like I say, if I learned from, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. So don't take my word for it. Go and research, do your own. But again, you have all the ID. This is the beauty. Everybody's got the evidence right now at home. You don't need to go anywhere and look elsewhere for it. And when you go to my site and you watch the four foundational videos, that will get you under the knowledge hood that you need to get to right now at a foundational level. And yep. then when we all migrate to Earth United and then the collective is all forming worldwide, the same thing that's happening in Canada, the UK, it's happening everywhere. And it's yep. exciting. It's really exciting. And then it they're is. not going to stop this light once it comes out charlie that's the whole pro purpose if one of us fails in one of the countries like i say it's just got to happen once the truth has just got to come out once on the public record for the world to see stream live at the same time and once it gets out there it's over the truth will take care of everything it just matters you know we the people step up and i have every, i wouldn't be doing this with you here now if i didn't believe in my fellow man and the people in the uk and canada and worldwide so well, john smith has been doing it in the uk with the common law court as well i've, I've interviewed him as well and he's on exactly the same page. And I, I look at myself, Chris, starting this journey four months ago with 37 sub subscribers. If I can get to 126,000 in four months, then we can get everybody awake within a very short... If I can do it as a 60-year-old man, anybody can do it. Absolutely, Charlie. It's, it's not, there's nothing that's impossible. It's a question of starting somewhere and going through it with conviction and truth. And people are so sick and tired of the lies, the bullshit and everything else that truth is actually refreshing. Yep. So people are craving the truth. People actually want it. Yep. And that's why this is so beautiful because I don't like to use the word person ever, but it is personalized to every man and woman because this trespass happens against all of us. And that is with all the stuff you just eloquently talked about there a second ago, that to me is like the, the underlying foundation in the heart of everybody. And they've had enough now and they're looking for this simple solution when they see it. So that's the difference. I don't put myself on a pedestal, but that's the difference between me. I didn't just come forward and show people, okay, here's this trespass that occurs as birth and then walk away, you know, from it at that point. No, I've been hammering through to get to that solution. But then I realized when this COVID thing came up, I had to change gears back in you know february i thought uh oh i can't do this and then i put, kept my head down and started focusing and then i got like about 50 videos now on my website with uh under the covid lie tab so to speak so it's been a hell of a journey you know to get here and it's, it's just getting started for us my friend there's a very there's a very important point of fact that i need to point out on this issue that donald trump right at the start of this removed the head of the beast now what is the head of the beast the head of the beast were the the the, the vienna uh, the Ven venetians there's 13 families in Venice where every single birth certificate worldwide is held. And the reason it's held in Venice is it's technically not on land. This is why we're under maritime law. It's, it's at sea. Mm -hmm. Now, Donald Trump removed those 13 bloodline families that have been monetizing, capitalizing our birth certificates. He removed them right at the very start. This is an important point of fact, so that we know that he's already started the journey to remove the foundations of this corrupt system. So we're now in a place where we're shining a light for everyone to see as to where we're going to come to. But we also know that the roots of what was evil that's gone before, that has, has basically owned us, controlled us, and done everything. You know, you cannot believe the, the, the amount that we've been capitalize on the stock exchange as individuals by these evil people but they have now been removed and also an important factor that they are the absolute heart of the deep state so the people that they're arresting in the deep state have now got nowhere to hide because these people used to protect them so they have now been removed so the deep state are absolutely high and dry right now because these 13 bloodline families, the Venetian families who've been, it's basically the engine, if you like, were removed right at the very start. And this is why Italy was shut down first and massively so for the Venetian families and the Vatican to empty them both. So we have some incredibly positive news there that's been done, groundwork that's been done already, factual groundwork that's been done to allow what Christopher is explaining here to flourish and grow. Yeah. Well, like I said, at the top of the show is I, 
I can't do anything about a Pope or Queen or anything, but I can make my mark here at my local public courthouse. And through that, I believe there's going to be millions of other lights around the world. They're going to do the same thing at their public courthouses. And like I said, I hope that what you said is absolutely true because that's what we need in this world. We need enormous, you know, Donald Trump, you know, again, you just, it, it's an incredible situation. He's been placed in the, the election alone. I don't talk about politics or whatever, but I mean, that election alone last time was really something. And then to see the continued attacks against this man over the entire course of his first term, right? And every single thing they threw at him, you know, has just been lies and deceit. And at what time does the, you know, the, the Hamels bunk, you know, finally tip, so to speak. So I hope that's all true. And I really hope, you know, something happens with, uh, we've been hearing about all these arrests and stuff that are coming. I haven't seen any, but I hope to God that they come soon because our world does need it. And wouldn't that be beautiful if he does it all around the same time when we're trying to get these court Oh, I can assure you, I can assure you firsthand that he's arrested an awful lot of people. Beautiful. I can assure you firsthand. Beautiful. Yeah, David Strait said that to me as well. He's an incredible man in the United States that does the common law as well. And he sat, what you're talking about that with the common law, that's what Barr said to him as well. But Barr also got into the pedophilia that's been going on. And they say they know all these leaders around the world that are involved. And he says, Trump's going to take them down. He says, this is what he wants to do. But, you know, it's... it's, then it's most of them are taken already. But this, the, second, the second shutdown, which will happen in September, will be to clean up the last bits. Nothing to do with COVID-19 as you and I know, but it's all to do with the final arrest and the transition between the old SWIFT fiat currency system and the new quantum financial system. Well, just as a backup, I'll still be going to the courthouse. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> you no, know, because, perfect. Yeah, you know, we, I, need, I, we need to stand together and stand up for what's true. We have to. You know, like this conversation you and I are having here tonight, Charlie, this is what I say to people is that this is the conversation that we should have had with our parents and our parents have with their grandparents and before that, but they've never been given the truth. It's not that we're all dumb or ignorant. We've intentionally been lied to, to be kept ignorant. And yeah. when you understand these simple foundational truths that have been kept from us, wow, does it open up so much in this world? So I hope to God that come, you know, before Christmas, our world is turned around and they've arrested all these people that created this pandemic you know, that was all based on lies and that, and we really hold these people accountable. I can assure you one thing. This Christmas is going to be a happy one. I sure hope so, Charlie. I truly hope so. Well, thank you very much for joining me, Christopher. Thank you very much, Charlie, and hopefully uh, we can talk again in the near future. Hi, it's Justin, and I hope you're enjoying my dad's videos. Make sure to share this video with your family and friends, like and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you get notified for all my dad's new videos. My social media will be tagged down below so you can follow it. And just remember, Jesus loves you.